Alright, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and welcome to Grim Hex. Yes, we are here in the new update for Star Citizen, patch number 2.5, and this is the new pirate base, Grim Hex. So, I have been trying to record a video about how to get here for the longest time, and it hasn't been working with me, and then I logged in today, and I was just magically here. So... How did we get here? What do you have to do to get to Grim Hex? Well, you can fly here, but that didn't exactly work out for me. So what happened was, remember that mission that we did a while ago where we went to go repair a comma ray that was actually already repaired and we ended up shutting it down and ended up with a crime stat rating? Well, that is one way that you can get access to Grim Hex. So go do something to make yourself a criminal, then I don't know, kill yourself or log out of the game or something like that, log back in, or when you respawn, you will do so at Grim Hex, and you'll do that in up in one of the little pilot rooms, just like you do when you spawn at Port Olisar, uh, except you'll do it here at Grim Hex. So this is kind of the main deck area. Now, I have not explored this entire base, so that's pretty much what we're going to do in this video is take a look all around Grim Hex and see what kind of cool stuff is here. So that's, yeah, that's what we're going to do. The only thing I have found so far looking around is there is kind of a shop right over here where we can get some cool threads and stuff like that, some cool piratey looking outfits. And there's this, uh, this guy like sitting down back here. Presumably this is the shop owner keeper guy. I don't know, but we can't interact with him in any way. But let's see what kind of cool gear we can get here. Because right now we're just wearing this kind of uh, kind of lame spacesuit. So let's let's get some cool piratey clothes and just put them on and walk around Grim Hex and see what kind of cool stuff is here. Over here we have the Daredevil jacket. Let's try this on and see what it looks like. That doesn't look too bad. This this cap thing that we're wearing looks pretty lame. We're probably going to change that out. But I think we'll probably go ahead and buy this jacket. It looks really nice. In fact, for you know, for pirate stuff, that's really good looking. So let's go ahead and buy this. It's 2,055 AUEC. We've got something like 7,700. So we're, we're probably going to have enough to get a whole outfit. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll purchase this and equip it right now. And we will confirm the purchase. And then it will process. And we will exit the thing. And then we should be able to get something else. I don't know. There are bandanas and hats and things. I'm not really a bandana guy myself, but let's try on this hat here and see what that looks like. That looks much more piratey than the thing that we were just wearing. I'm not sure why the camera is placed at this weird angle in here, but I like that a lot. So we're going to go ahead and buy this particular hat and then we'll put that on and eventually we'll get the spacesuit off and we'll just have our cool pirate outfit on and we'll we'll just walk around Grim Hex wearing that. So yeah, we'll fit right in with the locals basically. So now we've got two pieces of gear. Let's see if we can get maybe uh, some pants and some boots and stuff like that. And this looks like pants right here. So what about, what about black ones? There are black ones with the white stripe. Let's try these on. What do we got? That looks pretty good. Well, even the boots that we're wearing, or the, or maybe their shoes, those look okay. But I'm, I'm liking these pants. Let's just see what the red ones look like since they're there. Here are the red ones. I don't like these as much. They're incredibly red. So let's see what else we've got. We've got black ones without a stripe, and they look about like that. I think I like the ones with the stripe. So we'll go ahead and buy those. They are 890 AUEC. Let's go ahead and buy them and confirm the purchase. And then we'll have almost an entire new outfit. So let's see if there are any kind of shoes or footwear or anything like that that we can purchase in here. Here's actually a different jacket that we didn't even look at. But since we've already got one, there's really no point in considering that one now. I'm not really seeing shoes or anything like that in here, but maybe there's a different store that we can go to. I don't know. I really haven't looked around. Oh, wait, here we go. Here are shoes right here, and they don't cost that much. So let's take a look at them. And they look about like that. So, all right, all right, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and buy those. So purchase and confirm purchase. 
There we go. Now we've got a whole outfit. So now we just need to go somewhere and take the spacesuit off, and then we will be properly attired to walk around Grim Hex, basically. So let's go do that. All right, we're here on the upper levels of Grim Hex, where all our little cabins and stuff are, and this is actually where we start out. It looks pretty similar to our room in Port Olisar. In fact, it's pretty much exactly the same, except it has more of a red and kind of rusty, dark pirate kind of theme to it. That's really the only difference, but if we go out here into the hallway, we can see it's it's really pretty much the same as Port Olisar, except that it's all kind of broken down and kind of run down, kind of piratey looking and stuff. So that seems to be pretty much how the upper levels are just all these kind of rooms and stuff that seems to be all that's up here but we really haven't checked out the lower levels yet or even too much of the main deck where we just found that clothing shop but now that we have the spacesuit off we can see what we actually look like in our new outfit here and that looks pretty good it looks pretty good it doesn't really scream pirate or anything but i'm i'm liking it it looks good this is not clothing that was available at Port Olisar, so yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's just keep wearing that, and we'll go explore the rest of Grimhex. All right, I have no idea what is down this way, but this is a very cool-looking area. It looks like we're actually inside of an asteroid or something like that. I haven't actually seen the exterior of this base yet. That's going to be something that we're going to check out in this video. So I don't know what's going to be down this hallway yet, but it looks like it says the cargo hold. So let's open this door. Oh, this is an airlock door, so we're going to need a spacesuit to go in here, it looks like. Hopefully we can put one on in here like we can in Port Olisar. Yeah, this is this is totally an airlock, so we're going to need a spacesuit really quick, so let's grab one and come back. So it seems like here in Grim Hex, the only place that you can equip or unequip your spacesuit is in your cabin, which is different from Port Olisar because there you could do it also right outside the airlocks. But now that we have our spacesuit re-equipped, Let's open up this airlock and see what's here in the cargo hold. That'll be interesting. All right, let's go ahead and cycle the pirate airlock and see what's on the other side of this door. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like not only is there no pressure in here, but we also don't have any gravity. We're just kind of roaming through here on maneuvering thrusters, so this is interesting. Now I really am curious to see what's in here. So let's go down this hallway, maybe. Oh, this is really weird. I, I really wasn't expecting there to not be gravity in part of the base. That's a, that's a really cool mechanic. Hmm, habitation level. Okay, so are, are we just gonna have more cabins down here that that don't have any pressure or gravity or something like that? That would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Let's just see what's over here. Well, there's a big shaft that goes down that way. Let's actually check out what's down here if we can if we can go down here. Yeah, it looks like we can go down here. Just kind of a big empty space where the lights don't really work that well. Well, maybe maybe Grim Hex is not that interesting at this point. But it is a brand new place that we haven't been able to explore before because it didn't exist. So let's just let's just go on and see what else is down here. All right, that was a little anticlimactic. It doesn't seem like there's actually anything down there. So let's go let's just go back in here. We'll cycle the airlock and go back to the main base. It looked like there were some upper levels that we didn't actually explore before. So let's just repressurize and regain gravity and all that good kind of stuff. And we'll leave the spacesuit on this time because I'm sure there is a way to go outside of the base because, I mean, our ship is gonna be around there somewhere. So we'll have to we'll have to find that. So let's just go back up the, the weird tunnel thing here and find a way to go up and see where the landing pad is for the ship. And maybe there are other shops around here too. I have no idea. So let's see. So there's an elevator here. Let's get in it and see where it goes. And we're going up. Where will we end up? I have no idea. This is probably where our ship is going to be up here. If this goes anywhere poignant. All right, let's get out and see what's around up here. 
there are some terminals we can use here. So yeah, we can request our ship here, but we're not gonna do that just yet. There's pretty much a whole floor to look around right here. So we'll, we'll just take a look and see what's around here. Then we'll request our ship and see where that actually comes in, and we'll take a look and see where Grim Hex is actually located. So this is one of the airlocks that leads to the landing pad where you can get to your ship, and there is a thing right here where you can put on a spacesuit. There just wasn't one by the airlock that went to the cargo hold for some reason, but there are spacesuit things up here, so that's weird. Let's take a look and see what else is on this floor. So it doesn't look like there's too much around here as of yet. There was only that one shop that I've come across across so far that we had we bought some clothing at and stuff like that the rest of the things in here seem to be well like that empty cargo hold where there was a very large area but nothing in it and then there is an area up here that just goes to all the different landing pads so let's go request a ship and see where Grimhex actually is. All right, so I'm going to request the Origin Jumpworks M50 Interceptor because I haven't really flown that ship too much before, and that will be something new besides my Aurora MR. So it's going to be on launch pad A03. So let's go find A03, which is apparently over that way. So we'll go out this airlock right here. I have no idea what the landing pad outside of Grimhex actually looks like. I would imagine it's pretty similar to the landing pad at Port Olisar, or, or even the one at like Security Port Korea or anything like that, but I have no idea. We're about to find out as soon as this door opens what it looks like. This looks pretty familiar so far. It's just a little bit more red, and yeah, it looks like a big landing pad so far. Oh, but this is pretty cool. It looks, it looks like we're actually on an asteroid or something like that. Wow, look at that. Okay, that's fairly cool. Okay, where's our ship at? So this is the Origin Jumpworks M50 Interceptor. So let's climb in it and have a look at Grimhex from a little bit farther away. All right, now that we are airborne, we'll just have a look at Grimhex. So yeah, it looks like it's actually on an asteroid. So here it is. <laughs> this ship, wow, I am not really familiar with piloting this ship, but wow, is it maneuverable. Holy crap. So there is Grim Hex right there. It is pretty much embedded in this asteroid and it's got all kinds of antennas and cool things just coming off of it. So, okay, this is what Grim Hex looks like from space. Awesome. I'm pretty impressed with that, even if there's not a lot in there at this point. I'm sure there will be a lot more stuff in there in the future. Of course, I mean, 2.5 just released and this is the first, the, ver the very first look we're getting at this base. So that's really cool. So let's get a little farther away from this and actually see where this is located. Okay, so we've just done a jump directly away from Grim Hex, and this is where we came from. We came from the Yella Asteroid Belt. So if we jump back to the Yella Asteroid Belt, we should be able to find Grim Hex again. All right, so we're here in the Yella Asteroid Belt, and I'm not exactly sure how to relocate Grimhex once you enter, so if you guys want to let me know that in the comments, that would be pretty helpful. But anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So guys, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Stick a like on it if you liked it, and dislike it if you disliked it, I guess. But that's pretty much it for me, guys, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.